Hey, this is Biker Caliente, and today I want to talk to you about hauling your motorcycle behind your vehicle. Right now, I'm currently in my truck, and I'm hauling the Gold Wing, as you guys can see here on the screen, is my is my Gold Wing. I actually have a camera in the trailer, and I can see my load going down the road. But after I posted that video showing how to load the Honda Gold Wing, I got a lot of good feedback. There's a lot of you out there that really thank me for putting up that video showing how to strap down the Honda Gold Wing when you're preparing to haul it on a trailer. But there were a couple of comments on my Facebook of people thought that I was actually strapping the Gold Wing down incorrectly. So I want you to stay tuned to this video and I want to just talk about how to haul your motorcycle on a trailer behind your vehicle. So let's get started. I made it back. I actually hauled my motorcycle to Dallas. I got a lot of good video of the tour run that I will be putting up in a few days. So stay tuned to the channel. So from Memphis to Dallas is like 500 miles. It's an eight hour trip. And I hauled my motorcycle there because the weather was unstable you know sometimes during this this winter time the weather patterns are unstable so i decided to haul my my gold wing and maybe once a year and i said this in the video maybe once a year maybe twice a year i might haul my gold wing depending on the situation but a lot of you out there thank me for putting up that video showing you how to strap down the honda gold wing but when I opened up my Facebook, I got a couple of comments of you that was saying that I basically was putting my straps in the incorrect place. Some of you said that my straps should go around the triple Watch tree. Out. Object on road ahead. Some of you said that I should place the straps around the triple tree. I actually put the straps around the crash bars. But there's actually several ways you could actually strap down your Honda Gold Wing. A lot of you may not be aware of, I have the Kundu wheel chalk inside of my enclosed trailer. And the Kundu wheel chalk, the thing I like about the Kundu is that when you pull onto the Kundu wheel chalk, it locks the motorcycle into place. At that point, you can get off the motorcycle and you can put your straps around it. Some wheel chalks, and I don't recommend these kinds, but some wheel chalks, when you bring the front wheel inside of that wheel chalk, you have to put your kickstand down or you have to sit on the bike and hold it up while a second person actually straps down the bike. I don't like those particular wheel chalks. I use the Condor wheel chalk and it holds the bike upright as soon as I pull inside and it locks that gold wing into place. At that point, I can dismount the bike and then put down my straps. I actually did a video about my Condor wheel chalk. I'm gonna include a, a link in the description of this video that you guys can watch 
if you want to see the conduit, we'll talk a little bit more about it. When I first started hauling my bike, I used to strap around the triple tree, around the forks. But I come to realize that that's probably not the best place to strap the Honda Go Wing because you don't want to put unnecessary pressure on the forks and the fork seals. You don't want to do that. I always strap my Honda Go Wing on the crash bars. Like I said, the bike pretty much holds itself up. It's locked into place. It's not going anywhere. So when I put the straps around the crash bars, that just gives it a secure point on the front of the Honda Go Wing. And that's where I strap my bike. For your application, you may want to strap it around the triple tree. You know, there's more than one way to do things. You know, I'm just showing you guys how I do things. On the rear of the Honda Go Wing, I use the tip over bars or the rear crash bars to secure the rear. Some of you said I should have went around the back wheel. Some of you said you should have went, went around the grab rails. And you can do that. Those are not incorrect. But I want you guys to know that the way I strapped my motorcycle down is not incorrect. Like I said, you can strap it down. If you want to, you can put a, a chain horse on it and strap it across the seat. I wouldn't recommend that because you don't want to tear your bike up. As long as you got the bike secure in place, you shouldn't have an issue. Now, I wouldn't recommend strapping on the handlebars itself. You know, back in the day when I used to haul a crotch rocket, we attached like a webbing strap to the handlebars, but I wouldn't recommend that on the go wing. I would not recommend doing that on the Honda Go Wing. But if you would like to strap down your bike on the handlebars, be my guest. Just keep in mind that there's more than one way to strap down your motorcycle. As you guys can see, my trailer, my motorcycle is in my trailer and I have it secured. It's not moving around and I can actually see my load. That's the thing about my setup that I really like. I installed a camera from Taddy Brothers. I'm going to include a link in the description of the video if you guys want the camera system that I have in this truck. I can actually see my trailer as I'm going down the road so if my straps become loose or if the bike tip over which I've never had that to happen if I have any issue with the inside of my trailer I can see it right here on my camera screen but to the people out there that says that I strapped down my bike incorrectly I'm here to tell you that I've been hauling my motorcycle for years and I've never had one issue. You know, a lot of times when guys bike need to go to the shop, they'll call me, I'll haul it. Their bike break down, I'll go pick it up. I've never had an issue hauling my going the way that I showed in my video. Like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna show you how I do it. If you wanna strap your go wing down on the handlebars, that's your bike. If you wanna strap it down on the triple tree and put pressure on your forks and seals, that's your bike. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. But everybody out there is a subject matter expert. It's amazing how people watch my videos and they'll try to correct me. These same people do not have a YouTube channel, a video channel. They sit back and criticize how I do things. But I just want you guys to know that I've been hauling for years and I've never had an issue, never had a problem. I drove trucks professionally for years. I still have my license. So as you guys can see, I have my 
gold wing inside of the trailer in real time. So the thing I like about my setup is that I can see in my trailer in real time if something is going on with my bike, if a strap is loose, if it's flapping, if the bike tips over, or if I have any issues, I can see that in real time while I'm driving. And like I said, this is a Taddy Brothers system. And I'll include a link where you guys can pick up the same system that I'm using here in my, my trailer. So a couple of the things that's very important when you haul your trailer and motorcycle behind your vehicle is that you need to know the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer. That's the trailer with the payload. Well, why is that important? It's important because your tongue weight. You do not want to exceed 10 to 15% of your tongue weight. So for example, if your trailer weighs 3,000 pounds with the payload, you do not want the tongue weight to be more than 300 pounds. But the safe limit is 10 to 15% or your gross vehicle weight rating determines your tongue weight. And that's why I have the weight safe hitch. It'll let me know exactly how many pounds of weight is on my tongue. So that's very important to know your gross vehicle weight rating. So we're not gonna get into the combination vehicle weight rating of what the vehicle you're driving is maximum towing capacity. But let's just say for the sake of this video, you have the proper vehicle to haul your trailer. You wanna make sure that you have your payload loaded inside of that trailer a certain way. Most people, most people mindset is to pull their bike or their trailer or their lawnmower or their bobcat or whatever they're hauling, their tractor. Most people will pull their payload directly to the nose of the vehicle or the nose of the trailer. And what happens, it causes the trailer tongue to sag. That means you got too much tongue weight on your hitch. Most people instinct is to just pull inside the trailer and pull your nose all the way to the front. You may have to back your Bobcat your motorcycle, your lawnmower, or whatever you're hauling, you may have to back it up a little bit so the tongue will sit level. You want the tongue sitting level. You can put too much downward force or tongue weight on your hitch and you can wear out your rear suspension unnecessarily or prematurely. So there is a science to actually hauling your trailer. So whether you're hauling a gold wing, whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a bobcat, heavy equipment, it doesn't matter. You got to consider your tongue weight. That's why it's important to know your gross vehicle weight rating. That's one of the things I like about the Kundu wheel chalk is that I can move it forward or back. I actually have a mounting plate that allows me to dismount the wheel chalk from the floor. Actually, the condor sits up by itself, but I have it bolted down using the plate that holds the condor wheel chalk to the floor. I've never had an issue. I've never had a problem hauling my, my gold wing. You know, I have an old saying that if you see my gold wing on a trailer, it's stolen because I rather ride my my bike, but there are times where you will need to to haul your motorcycle. So I just want you guys to know that I've never had an issue. I've never had a problem. There is more than one way to skin a cat. If you want to tie your straps around the triple tree, be my guest. If you want to try tie your straps around the grab rails, be my guest. If you want to loop around the back tire, be my guest. All of those things would work. But in my video, I just showed how I do it. And I've never had an issue going around the crash bars or the rear tip over bar. 
If you want to, you can even throw a strap across the bike and strap it down. There's several techniques that you can use. So I just want to put that out there to you guys. I've been hauling for years. I've been driving big trucks for years professionally. And the same concept that works on a big tractor trailer, you could use the same concept in your vehicle. But I really like my setup. I can see my trailer when I'm riding. And that makes a world of difference. You know, I know one rider, he actually paid a service to, he, pay, he bought a motorcycle and he had it uh, hauled to his house. Well, the person that hauled his bike ended up dropping his bike. How do I know? Because he called me to come and take the bike off the trailer. And I think it bent his antenna, maybe caused a scratch on the mirror. The problem was he had a cheap wheel chalk. So you pay for what you get. He just had like a basic wheel chalk. He had a nice truck, a nice dually truck. He had a big old long trailer. His setup looked nice. But when you got inside, he had a cheap wheel chalk and he had his E-Tracks mounted to the floor, which will work. The only problem I had was with his wheel chalk. That's why I used the Condor. The Condor locks my gold wing into place. As you guys can see, I can see my gold wing in real time. I'm going to include some links in this video showing my wheel chalk. I'm gonna show you guys how I did the epoxy to the inside of my trailer, how I installed my helmet hooks, my E-Tracks. Feel like I got a fuel light, I need to stop and get some fuel. So check the description of the video for pertinent information in those video links. If you guys like the video, click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And stay tuned. I'm going to put up some videos of my tour run in the upcoming days. My Dallas tour run. Well, anyway, let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. See you.